car makes sound financial sense, but there are a few pitfalls along the way. Before you start your search for a car, think about your requirements. Do you need an MPV with more than five seats, for example? Then work out your budget. Every car review on the Which Car website has a second-hand starting price to give you an idea of what you can afford. Remember to think about running costs too, including car tax, insurance, servicing bills and fuel. Once you've got a short list of potential used cars, check out prices in the classified ads online. Bear in mind that a less efficient engine or an unfashionable badge could lead to a bargain. If you find a particular car you like, see how its price compares to market value by using our online valuation tool. You can access the tool via the Which Car homepage or at which.co.uk forward slash valuation. You have four main options when it comes to buying a used car. Franchise dealer, independent dealer, private sale or auction. Buying an approved used car from a franchise dealer is usually the most expensive option, but the car should have been checked thoroughly and it will come with a warranty. Independent dealers and car supermarkets like this one are generally cheaper as they're not tied to a particular manufacturer, but any warranty you get may be limited. And private sales are even cheaper still, but most cars are sold as seen, so remember that you'll have very little legal comeback if things go wrong. Finally, you could consider buying a used car at auction. Most cars sold at auction are bought by dealers, so private buyers can effectively pick up a car at wholesale price. Auctions aren't for novices though. The fast pace of sales and the auctioneer's jargon can be confusing, so go along and watch a sale first before you decide to buy. The golden rule of auctions is to set a budget and stick to it. Don't get carried away or you'll end up paying over the odds for your car. If you're buying from a dealer, you may decide to trade in your current car you're unlikely to get as much for it as you would if you sold it privately, but note that it's the difference between what you get for your old car and what you pay for your new one that matters. The cheapest way to buy is cash up front, but if you can't afford to do